The Genshin Impact community has been going strong ever since the game's release in 2020. Three years later, and it's now 2023. Which begs the question, is it too late to start playing Genshin Impact in 2023? Can you be a new player in 2023? Or has the Alcor set sail, making it impossible for a wave rider to catch up? That's what I'm here to discuss today. I'm going to split my reasoning into three parts. Community thoughts, creator thoughts, and player thoughts. What do I mean? Let me explain. Community thoughts refers to what the community thinks about this question. I'm not a big enough content creator to ask the entire Genshin Impact community on what their thoughts are. So I went to my own community. I went to my Discord server instead to see what they thought. I gave them a Google form to fill out, first to vote whether or not it was too late to start playing Genshin Impact in 2023, and then a second question for them to explain their reasoning. Creator thoughts refers to asking Genshin Impact content creators what they thought about this question. Seeing as I'm a part of the Genshin Impact content creator program, I use that platform to gather a handful of thoughts from other official Genshin Impact content creators. People whose online brand it is to play this game. Player thoughts refers to me going into co-op and asking random people there, is it too late for someone to pick up Genshin Impact in 2023? Stay to the end to see what those people have to say. But for now, let's get started. Alright, so let's begin with the Google Forms that I arranged for everyone. I am not the biggest content creator for Genshin ever. I don't have like tens of thousands of responses. I have like a few. Based off of my Discord server, my community, the majority of the people say no, it's not too late to start Genshin Impact in 2023. Glad to see that we're all open to new players joining us and joining this, um, this interesting fandom. Well, here's our first one saying, yes, it is too late to start playing Genshin in 2023. Unless there's a new Mondstadt or Liyue character, which won't be happening anytime soon, other than Mika, grinding to Inazuma or Enkonomiya or Sumeru is just an immense pain. I mean, I, I do agree with the whole character thing. Like, say, for example, if you get, um, let's say, Shinobu, Kugi Shinobu, when you're like AR20 and you can't even unlock Inazuma yet. That is a bit of a problem, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't start Start playing it just means that there's gonna be a character dormant for a while which isn't ideal this is definitely a valid reason to say that it's a bit too late but at the same time like as long as you're willing to put in the efforts if you like unlocking new regions then it will come eventually it won't take that long you're pretty late to the game with four regions being out but the overwhelming amount of quests can burn someone out I mean this is if you're speed running the game and generally speaking I'm gonna talk about this in probably my next video but when you first start getting addicted to Genshin Impact I don't I don't think having a lot to do will be a negative thing. It might be for some people. Again, it's just personal preference. <laughs> Is it too late to start playing Genshin Impact in 2023? No. Why? Because I play it. This person plays it. You should play it too. That's the only reason why you should play Genshin Impact. <laughs> My god, someone has a whole list here. Right. So number one, generally speaking, I don't think it's ever too late to start playing a game, as there's always going to be plenty of things to do. Agreed. When you first start playing, there is a lot to do. But number two, there's still lots of content being added to the game as of right now, which means that there will constantly be new things to do. True. Number three, coming from a pretty casual player, you can take your time with the game. You can take as long as you want with it, unless you're somebody who wants to be as optimal as possible. If you want to grind to AR50 in like a month, you do you. If you want to, you know, just play and you're happy with being AR35 for like six months, that's fine. It all depends on your preferences. This is someone who has started playing in mid to late 2022, and because they were hardcore grinding, they caught up to everybody else. See, if that's what you want, if you want to catch up to everybody else, this person proves that that it is possible to do that. Well, that was interesting. Thank you to my Discord server. Feel free to join it if you want. Again, I'm not the biggest. I didn't have that many responses come through, but we did have some and we're gonna read them. And out of the responses I got from the creators, the majority of them think that, no, it's not too late to start. There is so much limited time content that is not available to players. All the limited events that have happened had quests that introduced lore and things that were never mentioned again. There is a big flaw that Genshin has, whereby you do miss out on quite important lore stuff and it's like time gated, which is so weird. A lot of people are saying that if you do want to know about past events, and lore that you might have missed, you can just watch them on YouTube, which again isn't ideal because it would be nice to have those cutscenes in the game itself because you can still like, you know, get them shiny five stars. Meta is always rerunning anyway. True. Back when Kokomi first got her banner, if you know, you know, she was scrutinized and her VA was scrutinized because like 
she had negative crit rate and now Kokomi is meta, so you know. Perfect example there, you know? While this person says no, we can all agree that endgame content, i.e. Abyss, is getting more and more specific that might require certain team comps. I have not tried Abyss this reset. I've heard it's very difficult. That being said, I don't think it's too late to start playing Genshin Impact in 2023. The main story and event content can be reasonably cleared. A common theme that I'm seeing is that new players can catch up. That's the whole point of games, I guess, is to have everybody up to speed. Am I blurry? Let's go bug some people in co-op now. Now I'm on EU. It's gonna be a bit dead. I think I'm gonna have a bit of a hard time getting someone. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Yes. Let's see what they think. It's, it's a weird question to like introduce yourself with. Let's see what they say. <laughs> this Carl's Romain knows what's up. This Anne Vermeer is also spitting facts. Thank you for your time. Yay, we got a response. Let's try and see if we can get a few more people. I might have to fight something to ask this person a question. That's fun. Let's see if they let me join their world. I can't join. Well, that's a bit of an anticlimax. I want to ask you a question. You seem cool. Let me join you, please. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna ask my friends list. I'll get a response. They're my friends. I hope. I don't think it's too late. At first, it'll be hard to keep up, but over the, the cliffhanger time, new players will reach the same level as us. Very true. I don't. I think it's good if new players keep coming. Genja's method of releasing the game bit by bit means there's always content to look forward to. Everyone says the same thing, and, you know, it's true. People will oppose this take because it might be overwhelming, but if I started a game that was fully released from the get-go, I would be overwhelmed, especially for a game like Genshin, where outside of our conquests and everything, kind of an important thing to do is to build up your characters, and because building up your characters does take a lot of RNG elements, that keeps the game alive for a lot of us. I don't think so, they're going to have a hard time, but if they're here for the story and the characters, then it's still worth picking up. A bit of a tangent, but one of my friends started in September only, and she is almost caught up and having a lot of fun. Hopefully that wasn't too detailed. No, that's perfect. Not really, we've barely unlocked half of the story slash game progression. I can see this game running for many more years. I agree. We're getting Fontaine this year. I think it's going stronger than ever. Even when people leave, there are incentives for people to come back, like me, lol. I think it's one of those hop on, hop off games. True, Genshin is not meant to be played like hardcore. Like it's definitely a casual game, especially once you get up to the higher rails. I demand payment. <laughs> Well, I'm co-oping now, so uh, thank you for your time. I'm gonna let future me um, talk now, so yes. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Hi, it's me on the flip side. So as you could probably tell, the vast majority of the Genshin Impact community, at least from those who I've interacted with in this video, mainly say that it's not too late to start Genshin Impact in 2023. There is so much to look forward to. The game is always being updated, so if you wanna get started with it, why not, you know? But yes, I'd love to know your thoughts down below. In your opinion, is it too late to start Genshin Impact? Are any of you watching this video starting this year? If so, what's your experience been like? I'm curious. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and yeah, I will see you when I see you. Peace, peace. Peace. Peace.